Hello again. So I'm pretty excited today because yesterday Dave and I were out in uh, Davis at the vet with Squeal <laughs> again. She's fine. She's doing good. Um, and we were killing some time while they were working on her. And we went over to UC Davis's plant. Um, I don't know what to call it. Um, they have this huge, huge teaching nursery, I guess, for students and whatever. And they're having a big sale. And so we went over there and I met a woman who works there a couple of days a week. Ugh, I guess she used to work full time, but I think she just uh, volunteers there now. Her name was Mary. She, oh my gosh, super generous. So she told me, we were wondering if the place was open to buy plants. And she said, no, but she said, if you want plants, just come to my house and I have a ton of them, a ton of plants you can have. So we're like, okay, <laughs> you know, when would be a good time? She says, right now, follow me, you know, home. And so we went over to her house and her yard was amazing. She had a ton of stuff in pots, but she did have some stuff in the ground. It was really, really hot. She just started ripping stuff out, picking out pots. She just gave me all kinds of cool stuff. So I'm going to show you what, what she gave me. So this was an agave. It really needs some water. This one's struggling. Um, these were just pups she pulled off of a plant, but you can see it's variegated. Um, Lone Pine Gardens in Sebastopol was a tag that was in it. But you know, oh, that's not it because that is Aeonium. No, so this was a tag from something else. But I remember her telling me what the name of it, this was. It was some sort of a variegated, you know, obviously it's an agave, but it really, it, you know, it's dry as a bone. It's been so hot, nobody's watering, um, but it, it'll recover, it'll be fine. Um, look at this. So this, I think, what is this? Anybody knows what this is? I'm gonna Google lens it. Um, at first I thought maybe a Gasteria hybrid. It kind of has that look, but then it also looks like aloe. It's variegated. Um, it's pretty dry, but it was in a, a shady spot. She said she kind of keeps it in the shade. So yeah, I'll get that, uh, you know, plumped back up. Um, another agave here, um, a really spiky one. I like this. I don't think it's Americana, but look at all the little pups in there. I'm going to leave it in this pot. I might separate that pot. I might repot it. I don't know. I, I don't know what I'll do. Um, here, this, I'm not sure what that is. Um, this was, I believe this was a mangave. Yeah, this has got a, an actual tag, but I'm not really sure. Um, but it's, uh, not super spiky, but not really a soft one. Here's a soft one. I forget what she called this one. There's a tag in here. Okay, let's see. Uh... No, this tag is, this is not, that's not what this plant is. Um, was it spot? I can't remember. Here's another really cool agave, super spiky. And then this has, okay, there, there was a plant in here besides the oxalis. Where is it? Um, oh, this little, yeah, this little thing. I'll have to get a closer look at it. It's really small, but she's like, yeah, this is really cool. Uh, oh, here's some of it over here. See this? So I'll figure out this. I really like the oxalis. I love the purple shamrock. And she had a bunch of this. And then, <laughs> if you look in here, this is just all cuttings. And there's so much. This is a big one. There's so many under here. I just kind of, I just, I just now put them all in this box. Because when I got home, I just had them all, you know, just around in the bottom of that pot. But I'm going to take them in, clean them up. Um, a lot of stuff, you know, typically, you know, your, your common stuff, um, some stuff I don't have, but down under here, lots of pieces of Echeveria. There's some Senecio, Sedum. Um, yeah, just some really fun stuff. Oh, here's another Mangavi. So she was trying to pull a piece off of this. I don't know if this is going to make it, but I'm going to stick it in some dirt and see if that center will root. Cause it's, you know, see how pretty it is, but it's kind of falling apart. She was having a hard time. She just wanted to pull a pup off of her main plant. So I'll be bringing these in, clean them all up. I'm going to cut them and let them dry. A lot of these I'm going to be able to put in my garden. So this was awesome. Um, I mean, my, uh, 
my gutters because I'm going to be redoing my rain gutters. But it's going to be 100 the rest of this week, so it's too hot right now. I'm hoping maybe Wednesday next week. Today is Friday, so hopefully Wednesday next week the temperatures are going to be dropping down into the mid-80s, and I think they're going to stay that way. So, I mean, it's... <laughs> I think today's October 5th or 6th. October, what is it today? I think today's the 5th. Let me look. Today is, oh, today's only the 4th. Oh, okay, today's October 4th. That doesn't seem right. Today's October 4th. So uh, next week I'm gonna, you know, these will have plenty of time to dry because I am gonna chop them all. I want to really clean them good, make sure there's no mealy bugs or anything, because they were outside plants, so they look really healthy. And um, so I'm pretty excited. So we'll we'll get these cleaned up. So we'll we'll be back. Okay, so here are the cuttings. Um, I've got them all trimmed up. Got all the dead leaves pulled off of them. This is a ton of really nice plants. They're all so healthy. Um, I'm I'm really excited. You know what I think I'm going to do with these is I think I'm going to put them all in that bowl that I have that looked great last year because I covered it in the summer, but this year I did not. Oh, I've got a broken leaf here. We'll just take that one off. Um, but look at the size of this plant here. Can you see it's, they're all kind of intermingled, but I mean, that's the size of my hand, bigger. And here's another one, the same kind, but there's, just all kinds of sedums. There's some Echeverias. There is some Senecio over here. Um, a little, here we got oh, the Crassula undulata. Um, just all kinds of fun stuff. So this stuff looks really good. Um, I just, they've been sitting here for a week and I just this morning cut all the roots and stuff off. I think I already dumped what I cut out of here, so I can't show you that. But I'll give them a couple more days to harden off in here. And I do have them under a little grow. That's actually a grow light in, in my dining room. <laughs> it's not very strong, though, so the stuff will start to etiolate here. But I'll just let them, uh, um, you know, harden off in here a little bit. And then we'll plant them up in that bowl. We're just going to stuff that bowl full of all these. I wish there, I mean, it looks like there's a lot of different color, but there's not really any red. Uh, I got a little bit of a blush on this one, but hopefully when I get these back out in the sun, they'll start to color up a little bit. Maybe this Rubitinctum will get some more red on it. Where is it? Oh, that's a sedum. That's not what that is. This looks, yeah, that's some sort of a sedum. Where'd it go? Mm, I don't know. There's a, there's a jelly bean in here somewhere. I buried it, I guess. I don't know where it went but I know it's in here. <laughs> um, but anyway, yeah, we'll uh, get them all put out. There's some little Aeoniums here, some Crassula in there. There's all kinds of fun stuff. So, yeah. So I've moved these over so they'll get pretty much full sun. It's still early, so the sun is, well, you can see how long the shadows are. The sun has just come up over there. Um, and uh, so I want to get them started acclimating to full sun because some of these are going to go into pots or arrangements but then I have this is Mangave Falling Waters I think that one gets pretty big I'm gonna to have to be careful uh, Sawtooth Agave I can't remember what she said those were um, this one here what is it it actually has a name Mangave Oh, this is Man of Steel. I think I was trying to read these names um, in the last clip, you know, when I just unloaded them. So Man of Steel, I don't remember what she said this was. I am i don't think it's Americana. I think I said that before. It looks a little different and it seems, uh, seems kind of clumpy, awfully early, which typically they don't start throwing off pups until they're bigger but I'm not sure, but I do like this variegated one, so I'm gonna have to, there, there's a tag in here. Is this tag? No, this tag is for an Aeonium. I think we went through that <laughs> a little while ago, but I'm gonna start getting these used to the sun. And uh, yeah, I just moved these back over. It's supposed to stay in the, I don't know, low to mid eighties now for the next two weeks. So hopefully this heat is done. 
It is now, I believe, 9, 10. I think today's October 10th. I think, think today's the 10th. So, you know, a third of the way into October, it's finally cooling down. So I can get back and get some more maintenance going now that it's cooled down. Because, I mean, we had like seven days straight over 100 degrees. So it's crazy. Crazy. It did cool down at night, which was nice, but so hot. So, okay, we'll be back. Okay, so it's been a couple days. And I think the cuttings are hardened off, hardened off enough that I can go ahead and replant them. Um, I'm going to move the fig. <laughs> it's grown through into the ground, but I don't think too far. So I should be able to just, if I just kind of gentle, pull it out um, and uh, get it out of here. Because this is, I mean, look how far over it's grown. It's, it's crazy. It doesn't even look nearly as big on camera as it does when you're standing here looking at it. But the funny thing is, it's got, look... <laughs> it's got more figs coming out. There's another one right here. Right there, a little one. Big one down there. So I may lose these figs. It looks like there's another one coming on this branch right there. Yeah. Um, it may drop those. There's a lot of them coming on um, when I pull this up by the root. But we got to get it out of here because this is crazy. Oh, I didn't even notice it has a third branch over on this side. So it's got three, three big branches. So let me get this out of here. Okay, that's done. <laughs> it uh, actually did have a pretty long root that ended up breaking off. And then it had a bunch of smaller ones that I was able to pull out. So now I can actually get through here a little easier. And here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna pull everything out of here and I'm gonna just fill it up with all those cuttings and it's gonna look beautiful again. <laughs> so, okay, let's, uh, I'll set up my tripod so you can watch me pull everything out. How's that? Whew, a little out of breath, that was tricky. And what I did with it is I just leaned it over there on my, my dragon fruit stand. <laughs> so um, I'll have to find a bigger pot to put it in for now and then figure out where I'm going to plant it because it needs a permanent home. Okay. Okay. So, um, I think what I'm just going to do is just pull everything out of here and I might reset a few things. Actually, I need to get a, some of the set this stuff in. Okay. So I just got a little box here set it right next to there so I'm just gonna pull everything out because I can cut up some of these and reset them but this way I can um, I can see what I've got and then start over with just a fresh empty bowl because a lot of this is just dried dead plants these agavoides are oh, they're rooted pretty good can you see this huge long root? This is from that Senecio, which I'm going to have to cut out of there. And I don't think I'll reset that Senecio because um, it just grows too tall. These I'm probably just going to cut off, so I'm just going to go ahead and break them. Because I'm just going to chop them. It looks like there's mealybugs, so I'll probably have to treat those. And then I'll end up maybe resetting them somewhere else. And I'm right over the top of the camera, so <laughs> I apologize if you can hear me breathing. All right, let's see. <clears throat> I needed a bigger box, but this one was just right there, so I grabbed it. <laughs> I still have a label in here. Oh, you know what? That goes up here. With this little plant here that you probably can't see anyway. So let me get all of this. And I'm going to go and grab another box. Okay. So first thing, let me get this Senecio out of here. I'm just going to have to chop them. These are also called the blue chalk sticks, I believe. And um, I don't know. Oh, they're heavy. I don't know if I'm going to try and reset them somewhere else. 
Whoa. I think they've been leaning on the the wall here for support because I don't think they'd stand up on their own. So let me get these out of here. All right. So pulling this out is going to be tricky. It is in there. So I'm going to try and get the roots from the other stuff out of here. Um, too bad I'm going to lose all that rock that's in here. That was the top dressing from before. Um, I'm just going to let it mix in. But this is, um, this bowl is like, I'm thinking about two years that I've had all this stuff in here. So it's probably pretty root bound. So what I need to do is just pull most of this dirt out, which I'm going to. I did bring another bag of soil. I'd like to save some of it, let this gravel mix in. But here, <laughs> I, think, I think when I pull this out, it's gonna pull all the dirt out with it because I think this is one big ball of roots. Oh yeah. <laughs> This is, I don't know why, but it, it's kind of satisfying to, to do this and start over sometimes. Pardon my dogs. They're always squabbling. So, yeah, I'm going to pull this whole thing out. Try and shake some of this loose dirt. I am going to put some fertilizer in here because this soil is probably spent probably doesn't have a whole lot of nutrients in it but I still like to kind of save a lot of it okay I'm gonna go take this piece away okay so it's a little after one o'clock and this whole area is completely in the shade so it gets in the shade a lot earlier this time of year which is nice um, so once I'm done, um, I won't need to water for a couple of weeks because pretty much everything I'm putting back in here is going to be just cuttings. So I just want to mix this around a little bit. See what kind of, I don't really feel any clumps of roots. It's pretty dry. Um, I haven't watered in here in a while because I knew I was going to be doing this soon. And uh, you know what? I don't think I'm going to need to even add any more soil. This is pretty full. Everything's going in is cutting, so it's going to be really easy. And, you know, whatever little roots and stuff are left in here is fine. It will just break down and it adds nitrogen to the soil. So... Okay, I think that's good for that. Whoa. Okay, so I've got my plants. I don't really need to add any more soil. Can I balance them here? Will they stay there? Yeah. So I'm just gonna add some Osmocote pellets. Um, this is just, you know, this isn't anything specific to cactus. I don't even pay attention really for this to what it is, but it is a slow release fertilizer. I'm going to put quite a bit in there because it's, oops, it's a big pot. And then I'll mix this in, that down in there. <laughs> the soil's so dry, it's dusty. It's so dry that it's dusty. I love this pot. It is a big, heavy, <clears throat> heavy pot. Okay, still a few roots in there. All right, so I'm going to start with these bigger ones. And, you know, some of them have a little bit of root on them. I'm going to put this one right in the back. I should, probably should raise this up a little bit, but I'm not going to. Um, 
because these are going to grow and I'm just going to leave them in here and let them figure out what they want to do. <laughs> these were all the cuttings. Um, okay, so I'm going to make some clumps of some of these that look like they're all the same. I think she pulled these all out of the same little pot. And if they have a stem, I'll poke it down in there. And hopefully these will color up a little bit. They're all just a kind of a bluish green. They've been just sitting on my dining room table for a couple of weeks now. And uh, they'll be happy to get out and start getting some sun. Yeah, it's gonna look it's going to look kind of boring and plain, but once, I think once the sun hits the stuff, um, it'll start looking a little better. We'll get a little bit of blush color. Keep breaking these leaves off, <laughs> but that's all right. The ones I break off, if I leave them there, chances are good that they will get a new, um, uh, start a new plant. So we'll just leave them down in there. I probably should mix these up, you know, just so that when the colors start to change, they're not all in the, these ones are really hard to, to work without breaking, to work with without breaking. They're so fragile. This, um, I think those are Adolph, Adolphii. And then this looks like maybe a sedum. There's a nice big one here. And then I, if they start to grow in a way that I don't really like, I can always just move them. Just pull them out and move them. Yeah, I can see some of them have started to etiolate already from sitting in there. But that's okay. They'll be fine back here. You just need a, <laughs> you just need a place for them. And this bowl had, was looking horrible. I mean, really horrible. Well, you saw it <laughs> before I started. It's so easy when they don't have any roots, so just stick them in here. Especially when the soil's dry. I mean, it's not even hard to, to stuff them down in there. I am gonna put this little bit of uh, Crassula undulata. It's also called Ripple Jade. I think it'll do okay in here. Lots of this stuff. Lots and lots of it. So these will these will fill in. I'm going to stick these little aeoniums in the front here. And they'll get taller. But for now, they'll be they'll be happy. Some more of this. And some of them, I mean, you really don't even have to get them down in the soil. As long as it's close, they're going to, their roots are going to start to, to search for soil. And then a lot of these are just going to start getting really tall. They're going to grow on their own. This one doesn't have much of a stem to stick in there. All right, I'm kind of running out of longer pieces. I've got little, lots of little, lots of little short stuff. <laughs> so now I won't have to worry about this. This has been sitting on my table with a really weak sort of a grow light, just basically a grow light bulb that I've had in the, whoops, I keep knocking the top leaves off. Um, I've had it in the light fixture over the dining room table. It's really not strong enough. Motorcycle. So this will be, this will be better. They'll get some stronger natural light, but not so much that they're going to you know, fry out here. 
and then I'll probably, it's going to be cool. I mean, the temperature now is, um, it's only supposed to get up to like, I think the high was 83 in the next couple of weeks. Okay, so I'm just going to leave it like that. I have a few little pieces left, but I don't think I'm going to use them. Um, so I think it's going to be somewhat cool. Yeah, so those will grow and fill in. And as they start to reach for the sun, some of them will pop up. Some of these grow taller. Some of them stay naturally flat. Um, but I can... Uh, I can rearrange stuff, you know, later. But for now, ugh, that takes care oops, of this whole tray. And these plants are really nice, really healthy. I think they'll do good there. And so I have you know, all of these still to go in my gutters. I've been acclimating them out here into the sun. These were on the table in the house too. I watered them really good. I just watered them, tray watered them. I filled these trays, let them soak it up, filled them again, let it soak them up. And uh, then I brought them out here and I've just been moving them farther and farther so each day they get more sun and they should be ready to go in those gutters. So I'll probably throw these last little pieces in too. I'll stick them out. Eh, maybe I'll stick. Let's see if we can just get these. What is this one? See if we'll just get these last three little pieces over in here too. They have long stems. I should be able to stick them down in here. Mm, maybe back here. Get one. This little guy can go right there. And then that little one. Yeah. Okay, get those out of the way. So hopefully I'll start to get some purple and some maybe some red color on on these. I'm not, I don't know exact the varieties, so I don't know, but I like color. Um, these ones, I don't want too much of this. This is kind of like the blue chalk sticks, but I think this is a, a smaller, uh, bushier version, but I'm pretty sure it's Senecio. So we'll find a spot for those. And then this looks like some sort of a crassula. It's pretty withered, but I think it's gonna grow. I don't think I'm gonna like the way it's gonna grow in there, so I didn't I didn't use it. But it's, I don't know, it's getting warm. I think I'm gonna push this whole, I moved this out because it was kind of in my way. Push this whole thing back over here. So in another hour, it'll be in the shade and that way they won't fry. And so, yeah, that was it for those. Um, I'm uh, super happy to have all those cuttings. That was so nice of Mary. Yeah, that looks much better from a distance <laughs> than everything that was dead and getting that huge big Senecio out of there was good. So, all right, well, that's it for this one. And thank you for watching. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. And I will be doing lots more projects out here now that the weather is cool and it's going to stay cool. I can get the rest of my maintenance done which is gonna be this mess right here. <laughs> and look at all, look at all this stuff that I have to work with. I have all, all of this needs to be whipped into shape. These aeoniums are waking up. They all need to come out of here and get set. Look at this portal acaria. It's growing about, looks like eight inches over onto the sidewalk. And then I think I'm gonna, I've had a few comments saying to put that aloe into the pig and I like that idea. So I think I'm gonna do that. You can see it's starting to turn red. See how the arms are kind of going red now? It's a little stressed, but the weather's perfect for doing this. So I'll pull this, um, this is a uh, Straussii, Callistocactus Straussii. I'll pull that out, stick it in a pot, and pot up that aloe in there. And that'll look pretty. Yeah, so I'll be doing that. So stay tuned for that. 
We'll be getting the rest of these pots in shape. I'm gonna do some watering today. Everything needs water. And uh, I see the leaves are starting to fall off of my Japanese maple. It is mid-October, so, oh, look at this. <laughs> We've got a flower. Look at that, how pretty. Beautiful. I love the little red center. Oh, this one's about to have a bloom too. Nice. All right. Well, thanks for watching and we will see you next time.